Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Road to 1001%. Today we are going to be doing another challenge. I know we did a challenge last episode, but I'm going to be real with you guys right now. I have been recording for about four hours. I have been trying my absolute fucking hardest to get a run that is worth watching and just I'm trying my absolute hardest guys, but for whatever reason it's just not working. So we're going to jump in and try a challenge. We're going to be doing the Whack a Whack challenge today, mainly because it does unlock a very good item. Now we start with Strange Attractor and Anti-Grav, which are, you know, they're two of my least favorite items in the game, but we have good fire rate, we have good shot speed for the most part, so it's not going to be that bad. If you can see here, I believe Anti-Grav makes it so when you actually fire your tears, they stay in the same spot for a period of time, and um, they fire in the direction or whatever directional button you were holding at the time, so if I shoot towards the right, all the tears will go to the right, and if I hold my, um, if I shoot upwards with my upwards directional button, you know, they will all go upwards as well. It's, it's, it's pretty basic stuff, um, and Strange Attractor is just going to make it so everything is just fucking ridiculous. If you don't know, Strange Attractor just full-on fucks with the physics engine of the game, so this challenge is going to be a pain. It's, it's, it's but it is, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it because we unlock Death's Touch. But yes, um, yeah, you can take a look at the physics engine here going all, all wacky. Now, of course, something we can do is not take really stupid damage, Saint. That would be a great thing that you haven't been doing all recording session. But something we can do is actually just almost like chocolate milk is just spam the button. And that almost negates the effects of these two items. But you know, that's gonna get really annoying because I'm pretty sure the microphone will be picking that up and I don't want to give myself carpal tunnel, so. And I think it goes against the spirit of the challenge as well, so. But finally, I will talk about the item that we unlock if we manage, if we manage to complete this challenge is uh, we unlock Death's Touch or, you know, the Scythe Tears, whichever you know them as, which is a very good item, penetrative shot, damage up, it's, it's a, okay, this, alright, Lust is really someone I didn't want to see, uh, we'll take the pill. No, right, tears down, what'd you take the pill for, idiot? This is why you don't take pills, guys. This is why you don't take pills. Oh, see, what the fuck, dude, that guy literally just... So an item I would like would be something... <laughs> something that goes against these anti-grav tears. I really would like maybe something that is going to augment our tears in a way where it just cancels out anti-grav, but I'm not sure if there are any items that will actually do that. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. I I should have gotten out of that corner. Pretty I yeah. That's what I did wrong there. I should have exited that little corner of the room right at the start when all the enemies were still idle. The fact that I gave that I gave them ample time to basically box me in there. That was a misplay. And that's that's what we that's what we that's what we're here for. We're here to learn from our mistakes, but at the same time, look, I I've been learning from my mistakes for the past 5 hours and at the moment at the moment, I really just want to get a run recorded that is good. I'm sure you can hear that in my voice. I probably sound a little bit impatient or something like that. Just because ah, I'm just not on the vibe at the moment, boys. I'm not on a vibe. It's been a day. It's been an absolute day. But look, let's stop talking about my struggles. I hope everyone who is watching this is having a great day. A good start to their, to their week. An exciting start to hopefully what is gonna be oh good what an obnoxious room to bring me into what an obnoxious fucking room this is jesus all right we'll try and i'm gonna try and prep the tnt barrels all right because this room i reckon we'll die in this room if we don't get out of here pretty quick prep this one too i think i can do it one more time i can all right. All right, look, dude. All 
Just trying to get him closer to the TNT barrel so he can take damage, but he just doesn't want to. There we go. See if we can bring him up. Oh, okay, dude. You know what? If you want to do me like that game, then you can. You can. You know, at this point, I'm just going to stop arguing with you because it's clear that you're not here to fuck spiders. It's it's clear. It, that is that is beyond clear at this point. Not to the people, but me and you, game. We've we've had a five-hour history at this point. We are not friends. Let's keep going down. Imagine throwing up a razor blade. That would fucking... That would suck. Now, I don't know if Curse of the Lost is going to be on for the whole fucking challenge, but that's two Curse of the Lost in a row, which is something I, I don't want to see. I don't want to see that again, game. So if you could... If you could kindly not do that to me, that would be, that would be fucking amazing. Now we do have a cube of meat here, which is big, but, it, I mean, oh good, what a, what a dude, yeah, nice, nice game. So no matter which way, I, I, I potentially could have pathed myself a little bit better to make that champion come down this way, as opposed to running, as, as opposed to flanking me around this way. I probably could have pathed myself a little bit better, manipulated their pathing a little bit, but this is what I'm saying. The game has just been doing me today. There are some rooms that you will walk into, and for the most part, you will just ta you'll take at least one hit. There are there are rooms, some rooms like that, that are just set up to at least do some damage to you, which is the only really the only dislike about this game I have. There are some rooms that. No matter, no matter where you are or how powerful you are, you will take a hit of damage. And it's really just not fun because, I mean, for example, there, that was me. That, that one was on me, he, taking that hit. That was a really stupid um, hit that I took, and it was entirely my fault. But that room, bef that room up there to the north, I, there's, there's nothing I really could have done there. Like, I mean, yes, you could argue that I could have pathed myself better, but, like, come on, that's a pretty fucking cheap argument, I think. Like, 95% of players might take a hit in that room, and that's just pretty unfair, I think. But there's nothing in our shop either. We could probably bomb the Keeper and potentially get some money out of him, but... Actually, I might do that, because we, we do have four bombs. It's not like we only have one or two. But I would like to save my bombs for Tinted Rocks if I can. at the moment. I haven't seen any tinted rocks. I haven't seen any sort of... Oh, good. Now, here's what I'm saying. Actually, <laughs> this is how long I've been at that. I had this room on another run where I talked about, where I talked about, like, pathing and pathing manipulation and enemy manipulation and stuff like that. And <laughs> in this exact room, but that was on a different run, but I'm not going to go over that again because I spent like five minutes talking about it in that run, so. Now, these are the enemies that I find tricky with Strange Attractor. This is where this is where my dislike for Strange Attractor really shines through. There are some enemies that are, I like to call them slippery. I'm not sure if there's like a proper term for them, but they're, they are super prone to being thrown around the room. And I just call them sticky, just because they're like, I mean, sorry, sticky, um... What did I say before? Did I say sticky before? Slippery, slippery, slippery enemies. Like these guys, these guys are getting absolutely thrown by the strange attractor and what it does to its little, uh, what it does to the physics engine. Um, another good example are the, like, the jumpy spiders, I can't remember what they're called, but if I come across them, I'll let you know. But yeah, there are certain enemies that you just don't really want to come across with Strange Attractor. I mean, to be fair, there are, like, pretty much you don't want to come across anything with Strange Attractor just because it sucks. But, you know, whatever. Urgh, money. Well, um, hmm, well, you know, that's interesting. I think I'll put the bomb here just in case that was the entrance to a secret room. Which it wasn't, of course. Now I think, 
left is the only way we haven't gone. Yes, sir. Holy Christ. Now, these charging enemies as well can be a pain with Strange Attractor. If you didn't know, the passive effect of Strange Attractor is that it just... Everything is attracted to your tears, at least as far as as far as my knowledge extends, that's sort of how it goes. And I still can't really figure out whether I want to be holding down my fire button and letting go like that, or whether I want to spam it. I don't take Strange Attractor enough <laughs> to uh, be knowledgeable on it. Nevertheless, that's enough about me bitching about Strange Attractor, huh? I think... I think we've had enough of that. Okay, we're gonna get a shop teleport, which I will take, but I don't think I'm gonna use it yet because that was our boss room as well, by the way. Did we did we find our shop? All these Curse of the Losts are actually throwing me. I can't remember whether we found our shop. Okay, no, we did find our shop. No, I remember now. So we're just gonna go straight through to the boss room. And hope oh, I don't know, man. Hopefully we can we can pull a uh a deal with the devil, that would be really great. We are still... I mean... Okay, we have to watch out for those dips. The, Yeah, alright. Well, I mean... This is what I'm... Okay, this is a perfect example, actually, what I was talking about with those slippery enemies. These dips are much lighter. They're much lighter than regular dips. And we are seeing that right now. They are getting shot out of Dangle at, like, 20 fucking thousand kilometers an hour right now. <laughs> and this is this is the problem with Strange Attractor. So, if I see any of you picking up Strange Attractor, holy shit, are we going to have some words? I think it might even just be better to make use of our uh, orbital here. And really just not even use our tears, because Strange Attractor is making us take so much damage right now. Yeah, I think that's the play. Alright. Well, that's really unfortunate. Of course, Binky is actually going to help us out a lot here. That's a huge tears up. And at least we get a get a heart back from that eternal heart. But, uh... Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Even though we took red heart damage on this floor, we still had a 46% chance to get a deal. So the fact that it was dangled with those, like, high-velocity dips, that was, uh... That was really unfortunate. Hopefully we can maintain this soul heart and pick ourselves up a deal. Now, this challenge does also only go to Mum, so... Oh my god. You see, okay, this is another perfect example to see the way that Strange Attractor manipulates the pathing of these bomb flies. But yeah, this, this fight only goes to Mum's foot. Oh my fucking Christ. So hopefully I can... Dude. Hopefully I can bring this home without too much trouble, but... See, now these are enemies I would call the opposite of slippery enemies. These guys are almost stuck in place. So they're totally fine. They don't even... I mean, you can see the strange attractor physics trying to work on them, but... They didn't exactly move. Binky also making us a lot smaller which I'm also a fan of. Especially with this build, it's probably going to pay to be a little bit smaller than bigger. There's our shop as well. This, yeah, fucking Christ. All right. Mm, all right, dude. Didn't want to run up because there was a, a, an eternal fly there, which was going to hit us. Um, and we just, we didn't have the D, the DPS to, to kill one of these guys before they closed in on us and boxed us, boxed us in. So that was really fucking shitty. That really was unfortunate. I don't think I have quite enough words to describe how much the game apparently hates me today. This, um... The last few... Okay, well... 
luckily from a golden chest we get that we get that protection back, which is what we wanted. But I mean, bro, <laughs> getting the same items in two back-to-back -back shops is definitely not a vibe. Nevertheless, we found our boss room. Now these guys have a lot of health, and I really want them to to die and not hit me, please. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess we'll save the hermit card for our bloody for our next floor. But I'm gonna go looking for the top secret room. Uh, not the top secret room, the regular secret room. By, by the way. Okay, it can't be there. And we know it can't be there. And when I say there, I mean like down here towards the south. We know it can't be here because we can't we can't put a bomb there because there's a big old gap there. It's a little tip if you're trying to get better at finding secret rooms. Now it can't be here because even though it can be next to the shop, it can't be next to the boss room. So it could be down here. We might be able to bomb into the curse room. But I think there might be another spot it is. I think it could also be here. But I'm actually unsure as to whether it can sit adjacent to a challenge room. I don't know about that, but we'll give it a go. And I was right. Okay, so it is here. With a big old pile of nothing in it. So that's nice. But yeah, hopefully that just gives you a better idea of where secret rooms can be. There are, there are things you can do to sort of work out and eliminate other options as to where as to where it can be. I was trying to think of the right word there. Process of elimination. Yeah, all right. Definitely didn't expect him to do that attack. I thought he was going to do another charge attack. Try and all right. Alright, let's find our top secret room and fuck off to the next floor. It's clear that we're not wanted here. Uh, it could be here. It could definitely be here. You know, usually I'd say thanks for the black heart, but I know that the game is going to fuck me over in the next floor and give me like a room with... You know, 20,000 charging grubs and molly booms and shit, so... It's fine, game. We only have a couple of floors to go. It's fine. Soon. Why are you complaining so much? Because I've been recording for five hours, man! And the game just wants to serve me up, apparently. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, well, I'm gonna want some feedback on this one, boys. This is definitely a much different video to something I'm usually putting out. Usually, I wouldn't record myself when I'm this salty, but the game is just serving me today. The game is absolutely serving me, bro. So, so you know what? I'm gonna post this. I don't even care, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. This is going up. It's gonna be entertaining as fuck. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna blow up. I'm gonna get a million subscribers from this video. I can, I can see it. Cause everyone's gonna be like, wow, this guy sucks. Let's watch him suck some more. What are you still doing here, dude? Why are you still watching? Oh, God, I did not see you there. Alright, I definitely want to find my shop. I want to find my shop ASAP, but at the same time, I would much rather... Okay, here's the plan. Boss room, get our devil deal. We're still sitting on base damage, by the way. Get our devil deal. Hopefully get some banger items, and then we're going to use our hermit card to teleport out and find our shop. Gertie's probably a good boss to actually, um show off anti-grav here because 
one of the few instances where it probably doesn't matter. Because <laughs> Gertie, Gertie physically can't move. He's stuck there, so... The physics... The wacky physic effects of uh, anti-grav are going to do fuck all to Gertie, so... Alright, Gertie's about to go down, and holy shit, am I happy, because... We look at all the health we have, dude. We have a lot of health that he's about to get spent on a devil deal. We get a range up, which I guess we'll take. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, we finally did it. Look at all the health we have to spend on devil deals. Woo! Oh, we get poison bombs. I wonder if this will be a base damage run. Be my first time saying that. Base damage run. We beat the game with base damage. Oh, this this room makes me want to fucking commit. Holy shit. I'm just going to put a bomb here and hope that this works. <laughs> the plays. A sack, you reckon? Joker card, even though it really wouldn't matter. It is a joker card. Should we... Use it. Should we? Question mark. I'm gonna... Go to our shot first, actually. Well, it's a greed fight, which I didn't really want, but... This is, this is just... This is just saint luck at this point. Have, like, all the money in the world, but it's just greed fights for days. So... So at least the greed fight now means that we take more damage. At least the greed fight means that he can't appear on the next... Dude, did that hit me? That hit me? That is impossible. That looked like it was missing me by a mile, but okay, I'll give you, I'll give you that one game. You can take that one. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, gee, Rick. <laughs> you... Fuck you, game. Literally, fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you to the moon, game. It's fine. I just wanted to teleport to my shop, and in doing so, we've lost a soul. A soul. We've, I have lost my soul, actually, yes. We've lost a one and a half soul hearts. What is this? Well, I'm gonna hold on. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to, because we have a Joker card to take down, so this... This card is useless. Let's keep going. At this point, I'm, tele I'm teleporting straight to my devil room when I get down because I want some items, bro. I want some items. Wow. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's fucking crazy, dude. Now, you might be thinking, gee... Saint's taken a lot more damage than he usually does on a run, and there's contract from below working already. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but it's it's because of Strange Attractor. Any item that changes the base sort of, uh, 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 sorry, let me let me try that again. Any item that sort of even slightly augments the way that your tears work will throw you off entirely. It's just like with anything. If you're used to something working X ways, and then all of a sudden it starts working Y. It's gonna throw you, and it, it's gonna, even though it's such a slight difference, it, it seriously can ruin a run to the point where, you know, you're just taking this, this tick damage, you know, you might be taking one hit every room, but because Strange Attractor is, it's just slightly changing the way the game works, ever so slightly, but it's, it's more than enough to, okay, just, just spawn on me, that's also cool, just, it just slightly changes the way the game works, and it's, this, this is the result, right here. But at least the cool thing is we now get stone chests for free. <laughs> well, I mean items that are that are trapped in spikes, we can suck them out with our strange attractor. And it's looking like the Joker card was the play there, because I'm almost certain we're going to be taking red heart damage on this floor, so it was definitely a good play to use that Joker card nice and early. There it is, contract from below again with two trinkets. Oh my lord. Wait, what does this do? Move. Chest, chest. Okay. Well, 
What does it do? Oh, okay, bomb creep. Well, I kind of think I want Lucky Rock more because, you know, money. Money is good. Now, we don't have an active item for double charge, so that's whatever. So I'm probably just going to take my soul heart and peace on out. Well, we will try and blow up these uh, skulls, and this is a little trick you can do with these little side shots. That's something that is worth learning, little side shots like that. So we could blow up that skull even though the TNT barrel was behind them. Now, have we found our boss room? We have not. Oh, see, this room is also going to be very not fun. Yep, there we go. This is what I'm talking about again. Light, light enemies. Like the heads. Once you separate the head from the body, the head itself is an incredibly, incredibly light enemy and is super susceptible to the strange attractor, as we are seeing right now. Oh my, what a dude. Holy Christ, what a room. We might just use the cube here. Well, going back for the heart, because I believe this is the last floor. This is the last floor for this challenge. And I really would like to unlock Death's Touch, because that shit's a cool item, bro. Shit is a fire item. And I'm feeling good about this recording. I feel like, I feel like it was entertaining. So if it was, guys, please let me know. Please leave a, a comment. I love reading your comments. You know, how did you like this run? This run is a little different... Tonally, in the sense that I'm a little bit sort of, uh, sort of just on edge at the moment. I'm not, I'm not doing my best to try and make it entertaining. I'm just doing the run. And maybe, maybe it's making it more entertaining, the fact that I'm getting absolutely clippity fucking clapped at the moment. But I love reading the comments. So <laughs> head on down, say something, say hi. I don't know. Did did you did you like the slightly saltier saint? Is that two high priestess cards? That's just trash, dude. There's a lot of skulls here, and since we have a bomb, well, multiple bams, make use of them. Is that another card? What was that? The hermit, which I will definitely take. Now we just left that room because. Now, I'm sure you guys know this, but maybe there's some people that don't. If you finish a room... Actually, I'll explain it at... Okay, I'll explain it at the end. When this, uh... When this big boy goes down. The fact that it takes us three shots to kill a dip is saying a lot. You know what? I'm actually heading out of this room. This room is getting too much. So we're just gonna leave that. We don't have to do that. What I was saying is if you go into a room, you kill all the enemies, the room ends, and there's some skulls in here, you decide to blow up the skulls, right? And it spawns an enemy, like it, 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 it spawns a little skull boy, you know, the ones that pop up. You can just leave the room and re-enter and it'll despawn the enemies, so. Like this. See, there's one there. I leave, I come back, he's gone. I might as well just use the two of hearts now, because I want the... Hermit. The Herbert. The Herbert card. Okay, this. This is a Cuba meat room, if I've ever seen one. So is this one. <laughs> and you can see our damage is still not great. It, it's not like we're eliminating these enemies instantly with the Cuba meat, it's taking a little bit. But this cube of meat is going to do wonders for us in the mum fight. Because if you didn't know, once mum stomps her foot, it counts as explosion damage. But once the foot comes down and stays there for a... Sorry, once the foot comes down, it'll stay there for a few seconds. And you don't even get dealt contact damage uh, from the foot. Once the foot comes down, 
Oh, this is a brownie fight, not the mum fight. Oh, this is a bad fucking fight. This is not what I wanted. <sighs> okay, I'll finish what I'm talking about if, if I live through this. Yeah, this is fucking obnoxious right now. Jesus. Alright. What was I talking about? The mum fight. Yeah, well, if you have an orbital, you can basically cheese the mum fight. As soon as the foot comes down, dude, just, just run into the foot with your orbital and a few stomps later you'll be fine. So basically at this point, all we need to do is find the mum fight. All we have to do is find the mum fight with a decent amount of health and we should be set. So I'm going to go straight to the shop and get nothing. Not even a soul heart. That's pretty rough, dude. Okay, well, this actually is just the worst. What a horrible, horrible run. Let's, can I, mm, I don't know, man. Oh my God. This is where your ability to wield an orbital can come in very handy. And I'm trying to get better myself. I'm by no means good at wielding orbitals. I'm pretty hot. I'm hot garbage at them, but I'm getting better. And it is something that you probably should do yourself if you want to really, really just improve yourself, improve your play. Get good at wielding an orbital. I don't know if we can get both of these fires here, but I'm going to try. I can. And usually blue fires do pay out pretty damn well with soul hearts, so that's it's a little bit disappointing that neither of those paid out. Well, that's really awesome. We found our boss room very easily. Now these these little Isaac heads also not exactly one of my favorite mobs in the game, but I'm going to blow up this machine cuz I mean why not? We're about to finish up the run. And I guess we got pretty lucky that our shop was relatively close to our boss room. And I think we might as well just go for this. This could either... We could either fucking die right now or... And there is a tinted rock in here as well. That's something that makes me very happy. Now my strategy here... Wait until she stomps and then I'm just going to cube her mate. The only thing I'm going to do with my actual tears is just take care of the mobs that she spawns. That was a good one right there. Easy. We've got this in the bag, I reckon, guys. And there it is. Challenge completed. So, I mean, we're going to check our devil... Oh, of course, dude, it's a Krampus fight. Why did I do this, dude? Watch us die to a fucking Krampus fight now. Might even just tank it. Yeah, literally. All right. Let's finish up before we somehow throw this. Take the trophy. And that's Death Touch Unlocked, or Scythe Tears, which I am very excited to be picking up in the future. Hopefully in a future run we will get that item. But guys, if you did enjoy, as I said earlier, drop a like, leave a comment. I love reading your guys' comments. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already and you've been considering it. If you like what I do, I would really appreciate a subscription because I am trying to hit 1,000 by September, which is my birthday, and we are very close. So guys, with all that out of the way, my name is Seno. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next one. See you guys.